Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Creality Sonic Pad. So let's go ahead and get started. Because I've done some different videos on Clipper, I periodically get questions about the Creality Sonic Pad, and I've finally gone ahead and gotten one. I purchased this on Amazon Prime Day, and I was able to get it for $101, so I'm pretty pleased with this. So what I'm going to do is do an unboxing. And then we'll take off the functionality and see about getting it set up. Now, I'm going to warn you, I've never used this. And so I'm looking forward to trying to figure it out. And hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to answer some of your questions. So I've recently purchased the Sonic Pad. And this is literally going to be my first time opening this, taking a look. So this will be a true unboxing. So I like the box. And it looks like I've gotten some stickers here, a little Creality certificate triangle. So I'm going to put the stickers aside. It looks like I have a sonic pad here and all the wiring here. So let's pull this out. First, I'm going to put the sonic pad aside. Let's see what else we have here. So I can pack it, throw that away. User's manual. And from the look of the user's manual, it actually, well, I'm saying it's pretty hefty, but it's also, looks like we have it in both English and Chinese. Let's see if we have any other languages. But still, there's a fair amount here. So that's good. Let's see what other wires we have. I'm also going to need to decide what printer I'm going to set this up on. So we have a sensor here, USB cord, charging block, and then it looks like we have various connections here depending on our location. That's interesting. That's the first time I've seen that. So it looks like, depending on where we are in the world, we'll be good to go. I'm in the US. I'm going to use this. See if I can figure out how to put this on. That was pretty simple. So let's put all our cords aside. I'm going to go ahead and keep the box for now. It looks like I also have some adapters here, which is good because I don't. And I guess this is for to connect to my printer. So I, I guess depending on the printer, I'll have to look at what connection I need. Also have USB. Looks like so. I wonder what's on here. That aside, got some screws obviously for mounting. Put that aside. And let's go ahead and put the box aside. Right. I'm going to go very step by step for this. First thing I've done is I have my Ender 3 V2 Neo. And as you can see here, I've gone ahead and plugged in the USB cord. So that's plugged in right here. And then I'm going to plug the other end of the cord into the Sonic pad. Looking at the back of the Sonic pad. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And then I'm also going to plug in the power. That's pretty cool. There's bikes in the back. So let's set that up. I can set that standing up, but since I'm doing this video, sort of try to keep this flat. So we have it set up there, and then it looks like I'm in USB 1. So that's good. And let's go ahead and power this on. So I got two power buttons here, and it looks like we're powering on correctly. Now, it did say before booting, make sure I have the printer connected. Now, I'm thinking this is going to be easier because I'm using a Creality printer, and it looks like it has some profiles already set up. English, I'm not going to read this, but we're not going to talk Creality that. Select my region as the US. And 
I'm just going to scroll and scroll and scroll. And let's find America, Chicago. Of course, I scrolled too far, made fun of. Okay, so it's loading. And I'm going to select my router. And let me move this off screen. I'll type in my password. So I've typed in my password. Hopefully this will work. And it looks like this is going to download an update. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now it's loading. This will take a little bit. So from the look of it, it's updating Clipper and Moonraker. So that's actually excellent. Because it's downloading, I know it's connected to my Wi-Fi. Now the printer I'm putting this on, the switch over the Ender 3 V2 Neo. I'm actually running um, the professional firmware on that. So I'm going to switch over at least temporarily over to Clipper. And so we can see how that'll run on there. And I prefer to use a machine that I'm, I'm willing to bet they already have a profile on this device for this printer. That'll make my life easier. Now, one concern I have is I did have to put a USB extension on here because of how I have this room set up. So I do have uh, an extra cord in between the uh, Sonic pad and my printer. I think I should be all right though. Worst case, I can get off camera and move things all around. Far just to keep everything where it's sitting. So my updates finished successfully, but it looks like it's asking me to set everything up again. That's a little bit annoying, so it didn't save anything. Let's see what it does. So I am still connected. I'm just going to leave this as Creality Sonic Pad. So let's see if they have my printer, if I'm right in this. There's my Ender 3 V2 Neo. So that's actually great. So it has it actually listed here. And it looks like I'm doing USB connection because that's how I have it set up. Let's see how I have to go ahead and go about loading this. I have the this is a straight up USB, but it looks like I'm going to need a USB reader. So let me pause this for a second and find the reader I need, and I can go ahead and use that. So I have my micro USB into a USB reader. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And then let's hit flash the firmware. The firmware has been written. Well, that was pretty quick. So let me move over to the printer and I'll put it in the printer and we'll go ahead and flash. So I'm over at the printer and I'm just inserting the micro USB. Oops. And first I'm going to turn off the printer. I'm going to insert the micro USB. So our next step, we need to turn the printer back on. Switch back over to my desk cam. So I've inserted, turned the printer on, open it next step. And so it says it's connecting. So we'll give that a minute. Now let me go back over, let's go back to the previous step, since this isn't connecting. I'm going to turn the printer off again, and then turn it on. I also want to make one other change. Go over here at the printer, let's go ahead and turn it back off. I'm also going to unplug the Sonic pad real quick. Let me turn the printer back on, and I think that's actually flashing now. So I'm going to plug the USB cord back in. And then let me switch back over here to the Sonic pad and see if this is actually going now. So let's hit our next step and see if it connects. I've gone ahead and hit this view USB schematic and I'm noticing going to the directions, I actually need this USB connected here rather than, rather than in the back like I have it. 
So what I'm going to do is let me go back to the previous step. I'm going to try moving this USB. Let's move the USB over here. Let's hit next step and see if that works. Now it's a little bit confusing because it's showing you in the directions. It looks like it wants you to plug in on the back. Now, of course, it's connecting. So it's excellent. Firmware has been successfully flashed. Next. So let's ensure we're connected. And we're going to hit start self test. So let me set this down, extend the legs. And then I'm going to hit start self test and let's switch over to the printer. So let's take a look. As far as I can tell, the fan is running. Let's look at the fan on the side here. That started. So I'm just going back over to the following the steps right here on the screen. Let me see if I can do a split screen here. Okay, so I've gone over to a split screen here. And what I've just done is on the Sonic pad, I've tested the park cooling fan is working. And now we're going to start Z offset calibration. Now it's telling me to tighten the hotbed screws all the way. Let me pause it. I'm going to tighten things all the way and then I'll come back. So I've tightened the bed screws here all the way down. And so I'm going to confirm on the screen, hit next. And it looks like the printer did grind a little bit. And I apologize that my printer cam is lagging a little bit. It's now in the center of the bed. Start moving this down. Let me move over so I can look at the printer while it's going. Now, I can sort of see that it looks like my nozzle's not on the bed yet. What I'm going to do is switch over to 0.5. See where that puts us. One of those is actually sitting on the bed. So let's go to 0.1. Again, I'm just using my feeler gauge here. Let me see if I can get from this side a little bit better. I apologize for moving my hand in front of the camera, but I can't really feel this. So I'm going over to 0 0.05, maybe a little bit more. I'm sorry. Go a little bit more down. Oh, let me go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit more. Let's see, just can't decide. Actually feels pretty good. So I think that's level in the middle. So let's go ahead and hit this next step. Now it's saying Clippy won't restart, but let's, let's go ahead and see what this will do. Now it did home. So what I'm doing is just clicking on each point on the screen here. And then as you can see, it's moved my nozzle. So now I'm going to switch over and adjust the each corner here. Of course, I have this printer in the world's worst position to show this on screen. So that feels all right. I mean, it's really hard for me to do this based on the angle. Let's go over here. So that feels good. Now we'll go on to the back. Okay, that's all right. Point four. And now it feels good. So let's go ahead, go to the next step. And now what we're going to do is let's do the temperature setup. And I do 65. Let's do that. Now you notice it's heating the bed. So let's pause and give it a minute. So my printer's done heating. And let's go to the next step. Just look at that temperature again. It's all good. So let's start the calibration. Now I'm going to let this calibrate off screen and then we'll come back. So if we look at this, it looks like I'm a little high in the back. So I'm going to try twisting 
tight in the back just a little bit. So I gave it half a twist. So let's start the calibration again, see what it does. So I've rerun my calibration. As you can see, I think I have a little bit of high spots in the back, particularly in this back corner, back right corner. I think I'm just going to move forward and just see how it goes. So let's go ahead and start my experience here. So I've gone ahead and moved a bench into my USB. I'm going to insert it in the Sonic pad, hit print. Back to the USB. I've gone ahead and loaded it. My thumbnail is showing up. It's something interesting. The slicer sets 25 uh 10% infill. The sonic patch showing 25. That's interesting. I have all the temperatures set right, the start codes all right, and I have Prusa set to clipper code. So I'm going to go ahead and hit print. It looks like my printer is starting to heat, so everything's heating up. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause the video, and we'll come back in something like an hour and 33 minutes and see what our test print looks like. As you can see, the Benchy is printed successfully. So right now, this Benchy looks, to me, really good. I um, mean, this with minimal configuration. I mean, pretty much the only thing I've done is do the Z offset. So I still have more configuration to do. I can do PID tuning. Um, I can do resonance compensation and set all that up. And so I have a couple other things to set up. But for right now, I'm really pleased with the Creality Pad. I think it was a breeze to set up particular use in a Creality printer. It couldn't have gone any easier. Um, and so overall, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. I really like this form factor. And I think for what I paid, I'm actually pretty pleased. Now, reading about it, it looks like I can put up to four printers on this. And in a future video, I'll look at that. So I think right now, I'm going to call it a day. So I want to thank you for joining me. If you have any questions about the Creality Sonic Pad, please go ahead and leave a comment. If you like what I'm doing, give me a like and feel free to subscribe. And I look forward to working with you again in the future. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I want to thank you for joining me today. Hopefully, if you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. Feel free to subscribe. You can also drop me an email at minimal3dp at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a good day.